is it clear how to define a type structure types begin of type structure name and the list of fields you want to include in the work area or internal table and end of type structure this is the syntax in between begin of and end of what you need to include the fields and the type of the field right after that how to define the work area using data statement data work area name type this type structure name now in memory a work area will be defined like this what are all the fields you have included in type structure work area contains the same fields with the same type and length is it clear clear yes now work area is empty let's pass some data to the work area how to pass data to variable you can pass like this for variable but how can you pass value to the work area can you pass like this can you pass value to the work area like this can we pass like this or not since variable is a single value we are directly passing the value to the variable like this using equal to but when you are using work area work area might have might contain multiple fields right if you pass value like this how are you defining that what is this 100 value is it a employee id employee name or salary are you defining this here to which field you are passing this value are you defining this here no we are not defining the field what is this 100 value what is this 100 value for is this for employee id is this for employee name or is this for salary there is no all and not different how to pass values to the work area like this using hyphen field name employee id equal to 100 and uh, for employee name e name equal to salary equal to some 10000 okay clear this is how we need to pass values to the work area clear you can also pass values like this can also pass like this <clears throat> okay no why so the already assigned data i will name equal to text name data i will name equal to text name ah okay it's already assigned and what are we doing here so i have defined a variable lv_name and i have passed i have uh, added some value to it lv_name 
for work area i'm passing the same value to the work area employee name so now now that now what uh, e name will contain the same value test name test name i'm just copying variable value to the work area work area field specific work area field clear you can also pass it like this you can use variables to pass the data to work area both are same type what what is the type of value underscore name now character type right correct what is the type of e name what is the type of work area field employee name this is also character right both are character types right yes so i can pass the value of one character value to other character value same type same type of say if it is the same data type we can pass the value clear okay so what i am doing i am copying variable value to work area clear Yes. Now, just display the output. W underscore E E M P cannot be converted to a character like structure. Why we are getting this value error? Because we cannot directly display like variable. Work areas cannot be displayed like this in the output. You need to mention now. Uh, Okay. Like this. Employee ID. Salary. I don't want to display employee name. I just want to display employee ID and salary. It's my choice. See, selecting the data, preparing the data, and displaying the data is different. Displaying the data as output is different. Okay. So it is correct. Employee ID hundred, salary ten thousand. Clear? Clear. If you use number type, if you use number instead of integer, you cannot see this comma separator. Okay. For currency value, salary is kind of values we use integer types only. Okay. Number types is like uh, four number, this kind of values, pin code, okay? okay. For amounts, uh, we use integer type. Now this is the output: hundred employee number and salary, ten thousand. If you want to add employee name, you can add it. It can be any order. Order is not uh, important. Okay. clear now let's set keep a break point and see how these values are populating so lv underscore name i've defined a variable using inline declaration and passing a value so the value got assigned what is the type of this uh, lv underscore name variable now type c length 9 Type C length nine, right? So character type with length nine. What is the length of E name? Length forty. Length forty, right? Character type forty for employee name. What we are using in work area. That variable length is nine. Nine. Okay. Now, so we have defined a work area. Work area is like this. Without before uh, passing the values, your work area structure is this. 
employee id type character 10 employee name character 40 salary integer by default integer length is 4 okay <clears throat> now now we are passing the value to work area first employee id got filled next we are passing name which is in variable to the work area value work area so it is copied okay length is 40 this length is 40 but we are copying uh, whatever the value available in lv underscore name salary salary is also populated now we are displaying using write statement now when you click on the work area so this is the complete work area structure okay clear Is it clear? If you want to change the value in debug mode, click on pencil symbol and change the value. And click on enter. Okay. If you click on enter, that new value will be updated. But when we do this, just to test it, just to test the program. Okay. Is it clear? <clears throat> okay, uh, understanding is okay, but uh, we need to practice it, then only we can. No, practice it. Practice one program using type structures. Okay, today you have to practice. Some confusions are there, but we, once we can practice, then only we can clear. Okay. Mm. clear. So I'll introduce internal tables tomorrow. So I'll stop here then. Okay. So the assignment for you is. Uh, assignment for today's. So the output should be like this. Okay, I want to see output like this. Use type structure and work area. Okay. So create a program to display the output student uh, number, student name and uh, total marks of the student using work area and uh, type structures. Okay. Clear. Clear. The second program is. Create a program using inline declarations. Okay. That is the second one. Is 
Is it clear? Okay, then I'm going to send this to your email IDs, the assignment details on the programs. Okay. okay. Not recording video. Hmm. You can find these programs in the server. Okay. When you log into the program, you can find the program. Uh, you can, when you log into the server, you can find this program in the server itself. What do you need to do? You need to note down this program name. Okay, it will be available in uh, 2021 server. Go to SC38 and you can find it. Click on display. Okay, you know the program name. Enter the program, na program name here and click on display. You can see the existing programs. Clear.